This summer, the U.S. Army's so-called Operation Inclusion instructed soldiers that the phrase Make America Great Again was a form of, quote, socially acceptable covert white supremacy. A presidential campaign slogan was white supremacy, according to the Army. Again, no one did anything about that. Now, according to the Army's Equity and Inclusion Agency, and yes, they have one, the phrase is all lives matter, American exceptionalism, and the celebration of Columbus Day are racist. This is from the Army. The people are supposed to be protecting you. The head of the Defense Intelligence Agency, Lieutenant General Robert Ashley, recently encouraged his employees to read the lunatic track White Fragility by Robin DiAngelo, a book that is inherently bigoted and also stupid. Again, this is the military supposed to be protecting you. Instead, they're reading White Fragility. Over the summer, Caleb Wright, the chief master sergeant of the Air Force at the time, proclaimed on Twitter that his greatest fear was that one of his airmen might be killed by a racist cop. Not killed by the Chinese military, but by American racism. And so on. Where does this end? Can you protect a nation with a military like this?